We've all been there, a power cut strikes and the traffic lights go out. Frustration builds and nobody knows what to do. It's extremely frustrating for all road users and it's also very unsafe for pedestrians. We're in South Africa to learn about a community-led project to make this town a safer place for drivers when the lights go out. And Victron Energy are at the centre of the solution, which features some very nifty self-healing tech. As you may have seen in our other South African films, Energy disruptions here are a significant issue for residents and businesses, accounting at times for multiple blackouts or load shedding per day in the worst hit areas, like here in Belito in the east of the country. So what exactly is going on? This local solo installer explains. Load shedding is when our national electricity utility is not able to pr produce as much electricity as the economy needs. And so they switch some of us off on a schedule in order to reduce the load. And Belito on the east coast of South Africa was really negatively affected because for up to four to six hours a day during the worst of it, all four major tra traffic intersections in the center of the Belito business district were out and the knock-on effect was really huge. Huge traffic uh, congestion, very difficult to move from one side of the town to the other during that period and it also had the effect of damaging the traffic signaling equipment because of the on-off on -off cycle. In that moment that the traffic lights go off you have an increased risk of an accident happening because there's confusion. There's motorists coming from four different directions uh, and they're not sure what the status is in the intersection. So removing the scenario where the traffic lights are switching off, we are significantly increasing the safety at the traffic intersection. Safety is, is very high uh, in our priority list and uh, coming a very, very close second, if not almost as important is, is we need to ensure business as usual, especially during load shedding. With such inconvenience, damage and outright danger being caused to the community, Warwick decided to pool resources and come up with a solution to the recurring problem of loss of traffic signals. The urban improvement precinct and the local municipality in this area work incredibly closely with one another. And the result is that the municipality welcomed the initiative and gave us their full support. They gave us access to the electrical kiosks that we needed to wire into, and they gave us their blessing to provide backup power to the signals boxes that are ultimately their responsibility and it's worked really well. Well, it came up with a concept box to act as a contingency power supply as and when load shedding occurs at the intersections. The box contained a number of Victron Energy products that, once activated, worked together to power the lights without having to connect to the grid and had the functionality to heal itself. The solution is built around a Victron MultiPlus charger inverter. Uh, it's solar ready, it has a Victron Smart Solar MPBT ready to be wired in, and it has a Victron Servo GX as the brains of the system, the system controller. There's a third party LTE router inside and a Ruby environmental sen sensor connected to the Servo GX. That means that we're able to continually monitor the environmental conditions inside the box. So is the box wet inside? Uh, is it getting too hot inside? Uh, we're able to even switch things on and off based on uh, those parameters. We're able to monitor the state of charge of the battery, the status of the grid connection. And because we have the Servo GX as part of the solution, we're able to monitor 
how much power is used by the intersection uh, when it's in normal operation. And if we know that in normal operation it uses about 100 watts, if we see that drop significantly, uh, we can then take action. So we know that the signals box, when they're in a fault state flashing red, use significantly less power, for example, 60 watts. Then using the built-in node red functionality, we're able to automatically cycle the power to the signals box and in effect reset it without any manual intervention. So that introduces a simple but relatively smart self-healing self mechanism that means that whereas previously nine times out of ten a municipal electrician would have to have come out and flick a switch, now they're only being called out for the one out of ten times where it's a real issue. The idea of backing up traffic lights is not a new one, but this Victron Energy system, used in conjunction with the Serbo GX and environmental sensors, is an innovative step forward in meeting the challenging energy situation in South Africa. If you want reliability, if you want dependability, you have to choose Victron. We know because we provide the backup ourselves and if someone brings in a Victron inverter that has failed and needs to be replaced, if we have it on our shelves, we're usually able to authorize the replacement almost immediately. And if we are required to wait for a response from Victron, it normally comes to us within 24, worst case, 36 hours. So the turnaround times are incredibly good. And Victron is always really generous to clients if there's any doubt about a repair or a warranty claim. And all of the technology and configuration options and monitoring options that we spoke about earlier are essential uh, and make it possible to do things like this uh, that just wouldn't be possible and certainly wouldn't be as easy with other solutions. So to our mind, Victron is the obvious choice. Sensible Solar maintains the systems and reacts to any problems on site if any alarms are triggered. So far there have been no reported issues of tampering with the systems either. Since Amand filmed this video, three more installations have been completed as part of a community effort in Salt Rock, which, along with installations by Signals contractors, bring the total to nine in KwaZulu-Natal. A pilot is now being run at a large intersection in Pretoria, so the locals are really starting to see a difference. This system helps traffic commute through intersections, but check out this coffee van installation that takes its Victron Energy systems with it.